Item number, SCP-4107. Object Class, Euclid. Level 34107 Classified. Special Containment Procedures. Two dozen copies of SCP-4107 have been embalmed and displayed in Site-14 for further study and comparison with future iterations. Any additional occurrences of SCP-4107 that are discovered should be analyzed for unique features and incinerated if none are found. Personnel to use standard counterintelligence procedures when procuring remains from law enforcement. Description SCP-4107 is a series of human corpses which appear to be the collective remains of a sole American woman. Instances of SCP-4107 have been discovered intermittently across the contiguous United States since the early 20th century, and all share identical wounds, genetic makeup, and age at time of death. Forensic investigations, when successful, have found similar circumstances of death. As of January 2019, 311 iterations of SCP-4107 have been confirmed. Thus far, researchers have been unable to ascertain when the original death took place, or if there was an originating event at all. The oldest known record of SCP-4107 comes from a 1902 Alabama coroner's report, which listed the victim as a Jane Doe. No murder suspects have ever been found in cases related to SCP-4107. There have been no credible eyewitness accounts of any of the deaths, nor of seeing the victim at any point before their demise. The identity of SCP-4107 remains unknown. Injuries are as follows. An incision has been made along the medial side of the left forearm with a serrated blade. The wound is 8.9 centimeters in length and runs parallel to and terminates its depth at the ulna. Scratch marks are visible on the surface of the exposed bone. The scratches do not match the blade used to make the incision, and are instead believed to have been caused by a human fingernail. All non-foreign teeth have been forcibly removed, though several roots are still present within the jaw, presumably broken off during removal. The surrounding gingiva has been scraped from the mandible and maxilla with the edge of a serrated blade. A loose collection of deciduous teeth and teeth fragments can be found inside the mouth and esophagus. The teeth are a genetic match for SCP-4107, and are of a consistent age to have plausibly belonged to the victim during their childhood. Two parallel incisions are present on each finger and toe at the base of the respective nail. The cuticles are peeled back along the incisions, and the nails have been torn off at the roots. Most of the hair on the scalp has been threaded and sewn into the upper back, rendering the neck and head bent backwards in a fixed position. There is no discernible pattern to the stitching. Cause of death has been ruled as blood loss. All injuries are believed to have been inflicted anti-mortem. In all cases, evidence has indicated that the victim changed clothes between the time most of the injuries were inflicted and the moment of death. Other traces of the victim's actions before death, such as footprints and unfinished meals, are also occasionally found in the vicinity. SCP-4107 carries a secondary anomaly wherein it cannot be described in conjunction with one specific action in any way. This effect persists regardless of medium of communication, nomenclature used to describe SCP-4107, and attempts at circumvention through implication and subtext. Consequently, the particular nature of the action in question is conceptually incompatible with SCP-4107 documentation and cannot be clarified in this or any other file. Personnel assigned to SCP-4107 are encouraged to infer the aforementioned action from the absence of certain pieces of information in the above text.